Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter here on YouTube. Um, today I wanted to show you what I am currently working on and getting ready to work on for the month of November. Um, I recently joined a Facebook group. I think it's called like hashtag 24 hours of cross stitch or something like that. I will probably put it in the description. It is a private group you'd have to ask to join, but they do a thing called cross stitch. So, you know, they every month, I guess, they give out a word, and then you pick a project for each letter of the word. And you work on that, and you set a goal for each project. And this month, the Acrostic Challenge, that's what it's called. So the November Acrostic Challenge word was arbitrary. <laughs> arbitrary. And I set a goal because I, I'm doing diamond painting also in addition to these. Plus I have other projects I work on in addition to these. So I set a goal of either 200 stitches or 2 hours per letter. So for each project. Um, so I'd make... If I have any double, which I think I might, then it'll be 4 hours or 400 stitches. I hope that made sense. I'm a little rambly. I'm thinking as I'm talking and that never works out well for me. So the first one, let's see if I can find it. The first one, I'm just going to move all these. These are all my projects. The first one I'm going to be working on for the letter A is called Girl in a Shop. Now if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you will have seen me start this. I started it on the 4th. Today is the 6th. And um, I'll just show you the picture. She is a pillowcase. She didn't have a name, I don't think, on this site. But like I said, she was a new start. I haven't done my 200 stitches yet. I barely put any stitches in. But she is my A arbitrary. I'm hoping to get 200 stitches in on it. So this is what I have so far. So I just have this little bit. Yeah, I started her from my, my first Stitch With Me video. I'm loving it so far. It's a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be stitching on a pillowcase. But not too much. It's just because I'm right by the zipper and I'm trying to hold the zipper back out of the way. And it's a stiff canvas, so it, it's it, it, like it's hard to maneuver it sometimes. Okay, my second one for R, I chose my Harry Potter shield. R for Ravenclaw. This one I had just I had got off of Amazon at some point and it is no longer available so I won't be able to link it. That's what it's gonna look like. It has 40 colors, so hopefully there's gonna be good detail. And it's just the four houses. And this one I've actually I just finished today on my 200 stitches. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to pause, answer my daughter's FaceTime, and then come back. Okay, I am back. For you, it was a blink. For me, it was over two hours. My daughter was needing help figuring out her class schedule. For, she's signing up for her classes for next semester. And she was not sure which one she could take. So we were going through all the schedule or the classes and seeing and then she got on like a tangent on what she's going to take the next few semesters. Because, you know, she's going to graduate early. Well, I don't know why I said, you know, you don't know. But she's going to graduate early because when she graduated high school, she already had a bunch of uh, credits. So anyway, I don't remember what I said about this. I think I was telling you I'm already done with this one for the month. I might still pull it out at some point. If I just want to, because it's like, you know, it's 11 count. It's not very big. It's easy. It's got nice blocks of color. Um, I just worked on these two colors right here. 
and I got about 300 stitches in, a little over 300 stitches in, and I just had a go set for two, so that was nice. So that was my first R in Arbitrary, my Harry Potter shield, R for Ravenclaw. Alright, my next one is B, so I chose this little kit that I haven't started yet. It's my Owl's Bookmark. Sorry for the glare. It's a little 14 count, 30 by 104 stitches, 5.4 by 18.8 centimeters. Just front and back, which I really like about these kits because it's just, you just stitch the same this one you just stitch the same one on both pieces and then you just kind of whip stitch or however you want to put the back at the front then i bought some little tassels i can use or i think this one might have came with the tassel but i'm going to start this and my goal again with this one is 200 stitches or two hours let's just be for bookmark i think i got this from one day saving i'll, I'll link everything in the description if there's any kits you see that you like. Okay, my next one, I chose Castle and Bottle. I've been working on a little bit off and on. Um, let me get it. Here's where I am on it. I haven't started this this month. This is what it looks look like. This one, of course, is accounted. So it takes me longer, so I'll probably do two hours instead of, instead of 200 stitches on this, but we will see. I know I'll get it done. I'll meet my goal. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Two hours or 200 stitches, whichever comes first, because it's, it's just all confetti. I'm like constantly, it's just, I'm constantly like counting and counting and recounting, and that's why I'm really starting to enjoy stamp, because it's nice not having to just sit and count constantly. Because I found out I messed up over here just by like one row. And I'm not going to pick it out. So I'm just going to like fill in the like three or four stitches with collars that match around it. And try to make it look like the rest of it. I was going to do this, this twice. I was going to do R for red train. Because you can just choose an element in it for one of the letters. But I chose I for icy because it's a snowy icy scene. So that was my castle and bottle for the I. Um, for T and arbitrary, I'm going to do a new one that I just unboxed today in another video. Hopefully, it'll go up soon. Um, this one is Woman Reading. I chose it for the T because. There's a Totoro, and um, she is a pillowcase. She's a pretty large pillowcase. She's 40 by 45 by 45 centimeters, 195 by 195 stitches, and I have not started her yet. I have not put the first stitch in, and I really look forward to this one. I haven't decided. I'll probably start in a corner somewhere. I put my 200, probably start up here, because it's just a good block of color, and this one only has a few other stitches in it. i do my 200 stitches in this one. But she is going to be lovely. And I got her from FG Normal. I'll put the link in the description box. I think she's around $12 for the kit. And I feel like that's a really good deal because she's she big. Alright, so that's gonna be a new start. My next one for R where did my mouse go? Is another new start. I don't have a big picture of this one, so I will insert one. But I call her red hair girl. So R for arbitrary, and she she has 40 collars. The other one has 47, 40, I don't know, 45, 47, something like that. 
this one she's going to be pretty good size she's 240 stitches by 240 stitches on 18 count and I have not put a stitch in this one yet I just unboxed this one too for 18 count it's pretty good sized she's 40 by 40 I really look forward to starting this one again I'll probably just start in somewhere where there's block of colors but with this one I might start in the owl and she has some lovely colors that's my red hair girl for the next A in Arbitrary, I'm once again going to be working on the woman reading. And I used A, another, another new start, which I can show you her again. Because I couldn't think of anything for the A. I'm sure I have a lot of projects, but nothing I really wanted to work on. She's calling to me. I want to work on her a lot. So I should be putting... 400 stitches or 4 hours and on this one I think get that started um R I chose another Harry Potter theme project this one is a Harry Potter banner the picture is tiny so, so you can see just from the chart it's just like Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Gryffindor, I'm on the sides, and then the oh, I got shield or coat of arms. I haven't put any in. Or yes, I started this one earlier. Actually, I lied. Sorry. I started the black. So I was doing this earlier before I started recording. Another one that's 11 count. It's not huge. It's not, it's not tiny though. I mean, it's like 100, and, almost 150 by 113 or something. 30 by 40 centimeters. It's another one I got from Amazon, and it also is not available anymore, so I can't leave a link for this one. Um, it's only got 24 colors, and I've seen, I think, the same, the same image on some of the other sites, like. I don't know, maybe one day saving or everyday eels or something. And I, I'm wondering if they have more colors and if I would have liked one of those better. Because I got this on Amazon a while back because it was like $4 or something. And I love Harry Potter. So I was like, I'll try it. And then I got it and I was really disappointed in only having 24 colors. But I think it'll be enough for you at least to be able to see what it is. It might not be, you know, great. It'll be. It'll be alright. Like I said, I've already started. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot because I was doing it just a little while ago. But I got, um, last time I counted it was like 80 something stitches. I think I'm over 100 now. So I'm close to the 200 or 2 hours already. This is another one I, I might just pull out randomly because it's got big blocks of color. So whenever I don't want to focus too much on anything. That was the R. So we're down to one more. And the one I'm getting ready to pull out should be my focus piece, but for some reason I have not been able to focus on it. I've been like more wanting to do my diamond painting and my new starts than to focus on this. But this one I started, um, maybe five or six years ago. I have the box somewhere. I have the date written on it. Is this it? That is not it. Well, I'm not going to keep looking and rattling around, but I started this piece years ago, and it's for my husband, and he keeps reminding me. So I think he said six years. It's been six years. I put it away when we moved from where we lived previously to where we live now, which was like six years ago. So actually that's probably how long he's been waiting for me to finish it. I put it away and just never got it out. I didn't cross stitch for a few years actually. And uh, 
Whoops, this needle, bent needle. I did not realize I had a threaded needle just hanging off of this. But um, he's been waiting anxiously, and I'm not even a quarter of a way done with it. I don't think maybe a third of the way, but I think I have a long way to go. So this, <laughs> after all that hype, is my stained glass Zelda. And I can't show you the whole piece because it's rolled around this, but I have a lot more fabric rolled up in here. So yeah, I have quite a ways to go on this. And um, I've been working on it off and on the last few months since I started cross-stitching again. Because I didn't do any, any craft for a while. That's really sad. But this is for my Y because it's been years for the capital Y. So, years. Like she just sat in a box somewhere. I don't even remember where. And I every time I, I work on her, I'll get I'll come back to her a few days later and realize I've made a mistake. I had to like rip out some of her eye because I was off like by a couple rows I think um, I was off by like a column on something through here and I had to rip that out it's really hard to fudge some of this because it's just very precise and I've been so irritated because I don't know if you can see it but like I was doing the black and then filling in the black and then I got a lot of the fuzzies from the black thread mixing my really light colors and I could not get it out someone I think on some YouTube channel I was watching, I can't remember who had recommended taking like a, a toothbrush and kind of scrubbing it whenever I finally finish it and try to wash it. And then I think I was off on the collar or something because some of these collars look weird. But I used the numbers it said. But yeah, I have many pages ago. I think I'm on like page, well I didn't remember, but it's like, I think I'm on 13, 14, 15, 16. I can't remember if it's four pages or like four and a half across or how many, but out of 32 or something. So I have a long ways to go, but this is, this should be my focus piece, but I'm not going to stick to that because I am so kind of, I don't know, a lot of people say I'm, I'm probably ADD a little bit. Well, not a little bit, a lot bit, but I'm really bad with my crafts because especially if I get anything new, I want to start it. Or if I'm happy, I want to start one. Or if I'm sad, I want to start one. And this just... I don't know why. I guess because he wanted it done, it made me not want to do it. I have some other large ones too that I started years ago that have been sitting and nothing has been done on them. So maybe next month one of those will fit in to the acrostic. Am I saying that right? Acrostic? That's how it's spelled. Embrace the random unplanned planner because there's a sheet you can download. All right, so that is my my current November whips and plans to start my new starts. That I'll yeah words sorry and um so my current whips and my planned starts for November. There might be more. There will be more diamond paintings, but this is, I think, it for the cross-stitch, at least what I have planned. I have more stuff coming in. I have more stuff I haven't started. Who knows what I'm going to do. It, oh, it, I'm a mood stitcher, just like I'm a mood reader, and I'm a mood just everything. I go with my mood, and sometimes I'm in the mood to sit and really focus on this, and sometimes I'll do that for hours a day, for days straight, and then I don't want to touch it for months. So I'm going to make myself at least do my 200 stitches or two hours on this this month, but I really want to do more. I was trying to do that every day, and school and work and everything else seemed to get in the way. Alright, well I'm going to stop rambling because if I don't, I will keep talking. Which is funny because whenever I first started the YouTube, like posting regularly, I did not like to talk at all, and now I don't want to shut up. Alright, well thank you for joining me today, thank you for watching, um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already, like, share, 
Um, I see that I've been getting some dislikes on some of my videos, mostly my shorts, so if there's something wrong, please let me know so I can fix it. Um, please feel free to follow me on my social media. I do post a lot daily, sometimes multiple times a day. All my social media links are in the one link that in the description box. Plus the buy me a coffee, I think, link is in that. If anybody wants to support my crazy random craft addiction, I'd be forever grateful. And books. I mean, I have a lot of book reviews coming up too and some product reviews. So please feel free to subscribe. Um, hit that bell so you're notified. You know, notified of all the videos I plan on bringing out in the, this month. Um, I've been trying to upload daily. So, yeah. And thank you so much. I will actually leave this time. I keep saying that, but this time I mean it. So, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.